Hi, welcome to the initial startup screen for a clean account on Firefall. Uh, we're going to go and I'm going to show you about character creation. I've already picked a name. I'm looking through the voices at the moment. Uh, there's all kinds of different voices you can pick. I like this one myself. Uh, here you get your different battle frames and as you can see you have assault these guys are basically pure soldiers they do really good damage and they're designed for taking on packs of enemies we have the biotech which specializes on healing you can also go male or female with any of these characters it's up to you recon We have engineers. One eight seven. And we have dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are tanks. They use this uh, Gatling gun. They have a small shell generator. Uh, they have the highest health of any character. Um, let's go with the engineer. Now I can go through and start looking at skin tones. Not all the options are available. Here, as you see, there's some blank spots where they plan on adding things in the future. Let's just go with this one. There's only two faces at the moment. We'll stick with that one. I'll go with this. Now we can start looking at hairstyles. There's not a whole lot of options for that yet. I'll stick with this one. And here's our hair colors. facial hair oh, we'll give ourselves one of these old west looking mustaches and eh, let's go with the assault frame and here we go our character is ready to play now you've only got one character slot per account so we're going to make the most out of it. Now, the United Armies of the Quarter is an organization that was established after the crash of the Arclight. It's basically um, a military organization by the survivors of Earth. They are trying to keep civilization at as best as possible. Uh, the entire world is basically a toxic wasteland, except for a few small pockets, thanks to this dark energy that entered, known as the melting. Here we go. This is your initial introduction. Sin public established. Remote team numbers online. Boss, wake up. You'll be landing at Copacabana soon, boss. It's a great place for a vacation, but we need to pay the bills first. Let's see if we can find some work here. Coming into the city now. Hold on, I'll bring her around. Don't worry. Once we get hooked into Sin, I'll scan the local feed. We'll find something. Network is still down over much of this region. We will have to patch in manually to receive All right, so to what we're going to do is we're going to follow this. Waypoint where the Sin Tower is located near the center of the resort. As you can see, uh, we've managed to follow the little tutorial on how to use our rocket boosters, which is hit space and hold it. We're going to go to this point. 
we can use our center mouse button to go to first person. And here we can establish our setup link. That's it. We're in. Now we can see all the traffic in this area. As you can see, it says use our M button. Open up your map. See the circle around Copacabana? That's the range of this Sin Tower. The more towers we find, the more of the map will uncover. Now I'm also directly patched into your Sin feed. I can see what you see. My good friend Brody is going to give you a refresher on the essentials of running an Ares operation. Brody here. Let's get started. I deposited some Christite into your account to buy a new battle frame. Find the closest battle frame garage. This is your battle frame garage. Here you can sell, modify, or purchase any battle frame you are licensed to pilot. You can also customize any of your current battle frames. The equipment you install will require a balance of weight, power, or CPU from your battle frame. Just be careful not to exceed your battle frame's maximum capabilities in these three fields. You found the garage. Go ahead and buy a new battle frame. Alright, we're gonna buy a new one. Um, I'm partial to the recon, so we'll buy that one. Good. Let's put the new battle frame on. You can do that at a battle frame terminal. But first, we're going to go through and we're going to do a little modification. This button here lets you go to your customization. You can pick war paints. I don't like the plain white myself. Some of these will cost red beans, which is currency from the in-game store for the in-game store. Other ones uh, are free, like the red, green, basic colors mainly. Let's see. This one is free. Uh, let's pick a color. Let's go with blue. We can also add things such as armor patterns, which are all going to cost. We can pick bodysuit patterns, which will cost. And we can do some decals. There are a few free decals. Uh, other ones are going to cost. Let's see what we got here. We're going recon. We'll put that. We'll represent those headshots. I'll be pulling off in a bit. All right. Let's go ahead and exit the battle frame. And that's going to send us to a. It's going to be a battle frame selector at the battle frame station. As you can see, we got two options here. I'm going to go ahead and switch to this recon. Switch back to your other one anytime you want. Now let's hook into the closest new you. It's a great place to change up the way you look. Then we're going to be sent to the new you. Whatever. Let's call down vendor. Here's the new you station. One more thing. You can also get a paint job on that battle frame next time you go back to the garage. Before we head out to the wilderness, we need to manufacture some survival gear. Head over to the nearest manufacturing terminal. Now, I can go and change all these. Let's see, head ornaments, what do we have? Nothing at the moment. That doesn't cost. We'll go to mouth ornaments. These are all costs. Eye ornaments, there are a, there is a free one. We're gonna get some sunglasses. And I believe there are ear ornaments. All right. Now I can also change my hairstyle and whatnot if I wanted. Now this is going to be very Just important. This is your molecular printer. Okay. First is to manufacture some small health packs. When your gear's done manufacturing, just unload it and we'll be good to go. We're going to do some small health packs. Those are being built. You see it. Thick as a timer, countdown timer. Now you can start something at one molecular printer and pick it up at any other one in the game world. And I believe I need to do a bundle of ammo packs. My 
My uh, my All health right. packs are done. Now let's manufacture some ammo packs. I've got the bundle of ammo packs in the works. Now your E key is what's going to let you interact with just about everything. Um, other important hotkeys is going to be numbers one through four. Uh, you will get special abilities which are going to be show up down at the bottom near your ammo count. Uh, as you can see, I got a little circle here with a one beside it. That is going to be my long range satchel for the recon. Alright, let's get out of town and start looking for resources. So, now we're going to get a thumper tutorial.